morning, Miss Lane. Good morning, Professor Hotchkiss. What can I do for you? Well, well you could do a, lo a lot for me if you wanted to. I know that is. I'd like to do something for you. I bought you something. <laughs> <laughs> if the class can manage to come to a semblance of order, we'll go on with our psychology. Yesterday, in our dizzy flight after knowledge, we were discussing love. Miss Britton, can you tell me anything on the subject of love? I can tell you plenty, Professor, but not in the schoolroom. <laughs> order, order, order! <laughs> we'll have no levity, if you please. Love is nothing to be laughed at. On the contrary, love is, as evidently most of us did not learn from yesterday's lesson, love is the idealization of a biological urge. It has to do with the process of setting up an ego ideal, or super ego, thus taking care of a certain amount of ego libido. Is that clear, Miss Lane? I think it's perfectly wonderful. Then explain it to me in your own words. Well, the narcissist is a complex ego. No, don't tell me, I'll get it. That, that is, um, oh, it's in my head, but I can't explain it. What's in your head? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're frank. But surely you can give me some definition of love. Oh, love, oh, yes. Yeah. Love is a, it's a funny feeling. <laughs> it gives you goose pimples. Nothing of the sort. Well, it gives me goose pimples. <laughs> Perhaps if I make this very simple, you'll understand it. Miss Lane, will you please explain to the class just what the libido is? Oh, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lane, you're not twins by any chance. I don't think so. I just wonder. It seems so impossible that any one person could be so dumb. Well, that's the way you feel about it. Sorry, I took your old psychology. Possibly you should have taken arsenic instead. Who teaches it? Miss <laughs> Lane, Miss Lane. I can't have you breaking up my class this way. Leave the room and never come back till you apologize. And tell me that you're ashamed of yourself. All right, I'm going. You can't holler at me that way. I'm glad to get out of this old class. Anyway, I never did get a kick out of you old psychology. Well, if you got what you deserved, you'd get a kick. And I'd love to give it to you. <laughs> As I was saying, love is the idealization. But that's a hot kiss. The, the delicatessen has a word for it. What is it? you want to, and I hope you don't. No, I don't. Sit down. Sit down here. Uh, and let's, let's talk about a school and, and things. Well, uh, how are you getting on in your studies? Oh, I'm great in the dye dance and I'm pretty good in the hammock. Oh, but I'm terrible in a rumble seat. Yes, I saw you carrying on an experiment with that freshman. <laughs> You're telling me he's a freshman. Look at me. You should associate with gentlemen. You know what a gentleman is, don't you? Sure. He's a guy that don't get fresh till the second night. Oh, but really, Professor, I'm 
I'm so sorry. What makes me so dumb? Well, just look at yourself in the mirror. Just look at that lovely face. Look at those beautiful eyes. Those lips. What difference does it make if you haven't any brains? Oh, then you do like me. Like you. Why, Helen, I... I... Well, I'm more than I do. I... Oh, I, go, 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 go on, Professor. Don't stop now, Professor. Oh, go ahead. I, go ahead. Look. Oh, what's the use of being a professor and knowing all the big words when you don't know the right ones? Oh, why don't you forget you're a professor for a minute? You're not human. Oh, but you do like me, even though you are too dumb to tell me. I think you're the greatest little girl in the world. Do you? Gee, yeah, I'm glad, because all my life I went along convinced that I was plain. I never thought much of my books and much less of my brain. Then one day I found myself within your arms. And when I heard you rave about my charm, say I was so surprised for days and weeks I couldn't see. To think that you who know so much could think so much of me. Once I used to doubt I don't want to be your friend. I want to be your husband. Oh, you just want to make up temporarily, huh? You know, darling, it's always been my ambition to be the father of six sons, all boys. Yeah, we'll have six boys, all right, but five of them will be adopted. Gee, it'd be great to be the bouncing father of a proud baby. <laughs> <laughs> 